You're not welcome! Take it like about that one. You got a death wish? Are you seeing this? Open your bloody eyes! A ganky knob. Beware the man rock. Additionally, kill the man rock. Deathbringer is also my middle name. Everything and everyone on Pandora, it seems the elevator to my lab is irrevocably broken. 
You will need to find another way underground. Part called Kate. Oh. She will show you the way. The brief and tumultuous affair that ended when our trust went separate ways, as they say. <sighs> now, caress the mine cart. Just trust me on this one. Oh, shut up, Kate. Suckers! Gets. Now stroke my ex once more. Thank you, Kate. We'll catch up soon. Now, Vault Hunter, the entrance is just down that corridor. You are nearly there. My Iridium Amplifier! We'll need to bring it back to Roland's rest. Disable those couplings to begin preparing it for transport. For the record, I never let anyone inside my lab. But for you, I will make an exception this time. Jack, 
before he became the torturing, mass-murdering CEO of Hyperion. Back when he was just a coder, a husband, and soon-to-be father of the aforementioned Angel. There's a hidden chamber behind that portrait. You'll have to move it out of the way. Don't worry. That button is perfectly disinfected. I never even touch it with my hands. are able to imbue memories into physical objects. It may not even be a conscious effort. I recovered one of Angel's childhood toys. Start there. You're looking for a stuffed toy Thracian tetra bear. Just as cuddly as the real thing, minus the neurotoxic claws. This guy? Captain Bear, he eats crime. Well, we must be eating a lot with that big belly, huh? Hey, Angel, darling, what, what's that on your arm? Did you do that? Blue, I don't know where it came from. Do you think it's pretty? Yeah, sweetheart, it's, it's real pretty. Hey, honey, can you get in here for a minute? I was correct. That was a memory from when Angel's powers first manifested. There are other items she might have interacted with. Look for an old vending machine. Sorry, I didn't see you standing there. Uh, don't say any of those words that Daddy said, okay? Okay. Is the machine broken? Yeah. Looks like no candy for us. Hey, why don't you go back into the waiting room with Mommy, darling? Uh, the doctor's gonna be here any minute, okay? I think I can fix it. did you just do, Angel? Like most sirens, it seems using her powers became instinctual soon after acquiring them. She had no concept of what a phase shift even was, only that she could talk to machines, and more importantly, that they listened to her. There should be a turret somewhere in the room. Find that next. 